Wow, look at this. What a beautiful day. 16 to 35 Sony would be better, but I think we, I think we can make it work. Just amazing, what a beautiful day. Finally, finally, we have another good day. Still a little bit cold, but you know, it's getting warmer. Hopefully it can stay like this until we you know, do our hike, travel, whatever. I'm turn this off now. Good day guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna talk about travel gear and the gear that I'm actually using and bringing with me on a travel. So we're having a trip coming up in a few weeks. And that also left me with the question of what type of gear should I bring? Do I need to bring everything? And what do I enjoy using the most? What works for me and, you know, accessories and everything included. And I wanna share the gear that I'm bringing with me on this trip and why. GoPro Hero 10. This is the newest addition to the GoPro line and this is fantastic. It's not my favorite one, but it's because of the, the mounting system which it has underneath, it's so convenient. And it has one of the best video qualities that I've seen in a small action camera. Uh, but like I said, it's not my, my number one, but it's uh, a very strong number two. And with the GoPro Hero 10, of course, we need some ND filters because it's a lot of sun where we're going. So ND filters is a must and this is Polo Pro's ND filter. Um, probably, I don't know, probably the best ND filters around. And uh, I really enjoy these with, uh, with my GoPro Hero 10, especially the look. So amazing. I think this is on, on par with the GoPro Hero 10 just because of the color space and and just it's so it's so good the Osmo action it's so fast and it's so responsive and the quality coming from this camera is just insane I made a full cinematic video a bureau video of uh, of this not of this but using this I'll make sure to link it down in the description below and this is definitely one of my favorite action cameras it's uh, um, it's a number two with the with the GoPro Hero 10, but my all-time favorite action camera is the DJI Action 2. I mean, the tiny cube here and the quality coming out of this is just insane. It's so good, and I love that you have the magnetic feel over it, and that you can actually dismantle like that, so you have this in a small form factor. It makes it so much more convenient than a GoPro. Now, the good thing about the GoPro, though, is that you can just take it out of your pocket wherever you store it, and then you can just, you know, take it underwater, whatever you do, and you don't have to think about anything. But if you do that with this, when it has the power module or the screen module, you will basically destroy it. So you will have to use this single unit only, which is the lens module, or you have to put it into a dive case. And I think the quality and everything coming from this, my opinion, my personal opinion, is, is better and more appealing and looks better than the GoPro Hero 10 and the Osmo Action and the other action cameras as well. So this is my favorite one, uh, my favorite. Now I mentioned drones that I use with the Action 2, right? So here we have the DJI FPV drone and this is, this is the most fun 
I had since I started using any cameras. This is the most fun that I had. It's crazy. And you can actually, if you don't know anything about this drone, you can actually fly this as a normal drone as well. You don't have to fly it in FPV mode. So it basically has two different ways of flying. You can fly it normal with the 4K60 camera, which is on front, or you can fly it in FPV mode, whether that is in sports mode or in manual mode. So the true FPV is manual mode and that you can just do normal mode and then you can fly as a normal drone and this is the device that I'm probably the most excited about when it comes to this travel I haven't been traveling in four years because of this COVID thing it's just mad it's crazy now I also have another drone which you might have seen some clips from already and this is the Mavic Air 2S and I actually sold my Mavic 2 Pro uh, to get this one because it's smaller the quality is somewhat the same uh, and it's just it's more silent and it's smaller and it's more convenient. I basically swapped it up because it's smaller, because the quality is somewhat the same. The Insta360 GO 2, this is my favorite camera. This is, I'm gonna take it that far and say that this is my favorite camera. Uh, not quality wise, but it's so small. It's so small and so convenient, and it's so easy to just mount on my hat here and then just get some POV shots. And they actually look really, really good. If you shoot in, in broad, daylight like we're having right now the quality of this is actually pretty pretty good and for social media instagram and, uh, and tiktok and so on it's insane it's insane and if you just tweak some in in uh, post-production as well you know it's, it's crazy how good this is actually so if you wanted this is not sponsored by insta360 uh, by no means but if you want to get hold of um a go-to which I highly recommend this is the essential device that you need to have when you are traveling if you ask me this is the the number one that you need to have in your arsenal because it's so convenient to use and I think Philip will be using this um, to uh, film his own travel video in um, in a few weeks as well so it's gonna be excited to see that but this definitely the one so if you want to support me and also get a camera you can get one through the affiliate link that I have down in the description below now I think that is gonna be everything that I have in my bag actually like I said I had some ND filters from Sandmark for the Osmo Action really good ND filters I don't have any ND filters for the Action 2 at this moment but hopefully I'm getting some soon propellers and I have power banks and all the essentials that you actually need to bring on your travel. Especially when you travel with kids, you, you need to have a lot of power banks because of the, you know, I don't know, iPad something. I think that is everything that is uh, coming with me on our next trip. Uh, of course, the FPV goggles is in here. But of course, almost forgot the camera that I'm using right now and the microphone. I'm using the Sony a7S 3 and the microphone is the Rode NTG shotgun microphone I think micro shot anyway uh, the, the video mic pro plus is probably the one coming with me on this trip and I've recently got a new tripod which is the uh, PGY tech mantis pod they didn't send me this I bought this with my own money it's much more convenient than the uh, gorilla pod that I was using before this is the second time that I'm using it so uh, we'll see during the travel I'm gonna bring my gorilla pod anyway because I'm so used to that but hopefully this is uh, this half the weight and half the size and it's even more convenient with the mounting system so really really enjoy this now when it comes to accessories that i'm bringing with me on my my trips uh, like i said i didn't have any nd filters for the action 2 right but i reached out to telesyn and asked if they wanted to send over some accessories that i could use on our trip and they were kind enough to send over a few different items here which i will be taking with me on our next trip so this is a diving case for the osmo action always prefer to have a diving case no matter how deep the camera can go because i don't really feel safe having that salt water in the camera and yeah yeah i just want to be safe i don't want to destroy anything by accident waterproof diving case for the osmo action 2 dji action 2 for the dji action 2 and this is just for the lens module which is uh, 
quite cool actually um, because it makes it even smaller, even more portable and uh, of course if I'm going to do some scuba diving or anything like that I would prefer to actually see the screen as well and the settings that I changed to. They also sent over another waterproof case for the Action 2. This is for both modules, the screen and the lens module and also the power module if you are using that. I'm not using that, I'm using the screen module only and they also sent over some MD filters for the DJI Action 2. I'm really excited to test these out. Here we have ND. 8 and the 16 and and the 32 everything that I actually need so the and the 8 uh, basically just snaps on like that because it's magnetic I wonder if the, this will actually you know stay on when I'm putting the action 2 on the FPV drone or if it would just fly off I don't know it's gonna be interesting to see. Maybe I have to do some tweaking there just to make sure it stays on, or some tape or anything on the sides. We'll see once I, you know, get to my destination. So we have ND filters, we have diving cases, and oh! So this is carbon fiber, and I think this can go all the way to, that is actually pretty, it's pretty far, I reckon 2.7 meters, which is actually more than enough. It's gonna be fun to, to play around with this. It's actually quite light. I mean, it's carbon fiber, but I thought it would be heavier. It's not, so it's cool, cool, cool. So thank you to Telesyn for sending over these items here. Really looking forward to test these out, especially the ND filters for the Action 2 when I'm putting that camera on the DJI FPV drone. And there's also different accessories which is coming with me. I have two different lenses here which I'm bringing. Just didn't want to put that extra weight when doing this short trip um, to film this video. So we have the Sony 24mm f1.4 here. And this is the G Master. This is my favorite B-roll lens and my all-rounder and my most used lens, which I also used outside shooting this video. This is the Tamron 28-75 f2.8. And the quality coming from this is actually pretty darn good. I love this lens. And the one that I'm filming with now, it's sort of a vlog lens. This is the Sony 16-35 f4 size lens. Um, I decided to go with this instead of the G Master lens, it's half the price and it also has built-in stabilization inside the lens. So now I have it in the camera and also the lens. It's annoying when you watch someone and everything you see is just wobbling on the camera. So yeah, this one, it's good, good lens. It's a good now, it's actually quite messy here. So it looks like I'm turning my studio into a storage facility. It's just crazy how messy it is around here. Right now, just, oh. there's a few things that doesn't fit into the backpack itself. And I mainly wanna keep the things which is required to be in here, like batteries and of course drones, so they don't get destroyed because you know, those handling the, the travel suitcases, putting them on the plane, they're not always careful about it. So here I basically have everything in hard cases. I have a few new items that I got. This is a floaty for the GoPro. Here is the gimbal, my DJI Ronin SC, because I can't really fit it inside here. And also have the handle here, but because this is battery, I need to have it in the back because that's, that's apparently how it is. But this is also the DJI Fly More Combo Kit shoulder bag, <laughs> which I filled with different types of accessories, cables, lenses, filters, propellers, and everything. And that is basically going in there, right there. I have some um, surfboard mounts for some reason. I um, think I'm gonna get myself a paddleboard maybe and some batteries and Polar Pro filter the grip and also a brand new GoPro Hero 10. Now why do you have this brand new GoPro and don't you have any GoPro laying around? Well actually I sold my GoPro Hero 10 three times before I got this one. 
because this seems like I had three faulty GoPros uh, and they didn't want to connect to my phone. So doing the firmware updates, I had to go through my computer to download, to connect, and then just, it was a hassle. So I sold them for every single device that I didn't, you know, didn't work in that, that way. I sold it and I now finally got a new one and it's working properly. Um, so I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to to do some more testing with the GoPro as well. Not testing, I think I'm done with my testing, but I wanna use it. I wanna, I wanna use it. So I think that's gotta be the end. I have everything, well, of course, my iPad is coming with me and my MacBook is coming with me. Maybe not the MacBook, but the iPad is coming with me with the adapters and we have all different types of SSDs are coming with me and uh, yeah, so that's basically what I have in my travel bag, travel suitcase when I do a travel. If you follow my channel, you will see all of these cameras and all these accessories and everything during our trip as well. So uh, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to join in on my brand new LumaFusion Masterclass, the Rob HK Visuals course, there is a link down to that course in the description. All the items that I covered in this video will also be down in the description below. Those are affiliate links, so I will earn a small nothing uh, if you decide to purchase off of that link. So that's gonna be the end for today. I am so excited to go on this trip. Four years, I think, four years since our last trip. Four years. Crazy.